Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Baum & Mercier Capeland Chronograph 42mm in stainless steel. You can see and you can purchase this automatic chronograph on our website. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you enjoy our videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Yep, that one up there, at any time during the video to see our full listing for this watch, with additional accessories included, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Baum & Mercier. Now, the watch that you see on my wrist measures 42 millimeters across the round of the case, and you're looking at it relative to a wrist that is six and a quarter inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is large, but it's not overpowering. Uh, in terms of thickness, it's 15 millimeters, but it does have a generously sloped conical bezel that will help it slide underneath looser sleeves. From lug to lug, the watch is 49 millimeters, which makes it wearable on smaller wrists than mine. I would say down to about 14 and a half centimeters in circumference, you're gonna wear this watch with a good sense of proportion and security. You can see how I have a little bit of flare to the strap on both sides indicating that there's a little bit of room to neck down the size of the wrist without creating an ungainly aesthetic. Now the watch has short and sharply downturned lugs that help it to wear well on a small wrist. It arcs around your forearm and a very substantial bolstered contrasting stitch, dark brown rectangular scale alligator leather strap with large folded edges. There's calfskin on the underside, very supple against the skin, and the watch has a nice trigger actuated double fold deployant clasp, a nice upscale measure on a watch from Baum & Mercier. It allows the watch to be buckled such that you create a continuous loop of the strap and it's harder to drop the watch when donning it or removing it at bedside. Now, you'll also note that because of the twin trigger system, this is quite secure when closed, which is important on a large and heavy steel watch. You do have to positively disengage using both triggers. The watch itself features a combination of differential finish and strong character lines to give the case a personality. Now, differential finish comes in the form of polished bezel for high contrast against the satin finish of the lug tops as well as the case flanks. Now, the nice thing about the satin finish is that it actually prevents the watch from looking like the massive metal that it is. The design is inspired by a Baum & Mercier watch of 1948, and in order to translate those lines onto a modern timepiece, it's necessary to break up the mass of a full-sized modern watch, and that's what the differential finish does. Now, you'll also note a pusher adjuster on the flank, and that's because this watch, featuring a tri-compax dial arrangement, uses a Valjoux 7753-based caliber. The 753 has the chrono registers shifted 90 degrees so that it looks like a traditional mid-century tri-register chronograph. The one change is that you lose the quick set function and you make your date adjustments using the pusher corrector. Now the dial is a sort of chocolate bronze sunburst that's quite attractive and it uses an unconventional combination of colors. White that chocolate bronze, red and black. It's a variation on the classic black, white, and red sporting tritone, and the watch makes good with a double scale that helps to break up the mass of the dial. Again, 42 millimeters, this one's large, so the heritage-inspired elements have to be treated with delicacy, and the double scale helps to do that, creating a, a number of concentric rings moving out from the center of the dial. You've got the hour track, you've got the hashes for the minutes and fractions of seconds, then you've got the the telemeter scale, and then you've got the tachometer scale. Telemeter for judging distance, tachometer for judging speed. Both are used in conjunction with the chronograph. Now you'll note beautiful leaf style hands at center. They do have applied luminescent material, so along with the dots of Luminova at the four corners, this watch is abundantly legible in low or no light conditions. Date at 430. The watch, of course, set using the pusher with respect to date, but it does retain the hacking function of the underlying Valjoux 7750 caliber, so if you pull the crown, you stop both chronograph and constant seconds. Now the chronograph is a crisp and well-tuned V7753, and you can see it on the back of the case, and you'll note that it's doing business as the BM, I believe it's 137753, if you're wondering where the 13 comes from, multiply that roughly by 2.5. 2.5, your Swiss lean, or your French lean, I should say, and you get the size of the movement. Notice cam and shuttle operated chronograph, 
Unidirectional winding as ever, very efficient, 42 hour power reserve, 27 joules, nicely decorated for a watch in this price range. They did put some consideration into how they finished the bridges and the plates of this one with a nice linear stamped Cote de Genève on the winding rotor itself. And of course, modern 4 hertz, 28,800 vibration per hour beat rate, and you'll note the Etacron regulation system so it can be regulated quite precisely beat as well. This is a handsome and versatile timepiece. Short of actual hardcore water sports, it's 5 ATM water resistant. This is a timepiece that can do almost everything. Formal enough for a suit, but also casual enough to wear, again, with almost anything except bait bathing trousers. This is a handsome, progressive, history-inspired timepiece. Modern in its execution, but historically true, I think, in its spirit. You can see and you can purchase this automatic chronograph on our website.